On his last 100 at bats, bottom two, J.A. Happ. Right happy. Home run, fourth of the season, one nothing Mets. Bottom third, Carlos Beltran. Off Happ. He's got the right stuff. Five and a third, six hits, four earned, two home runs for Happ. Beltran's eighth, it's three nothing. Now, Ryan Howard's batting 353 career with two home runs against Johan Santana, six for 17. He goes yard there, and it's a 3-1 game. Howard's 18th, and Raul Abanez is the next batter. He bats 351, 13 for 37 against Santana, and he goes yard. So some guys who've had some history uh, continue to have it in a good sense. Ibanez is 20th, Santana off Clay Condry with the Mets down a run, two on 0-2 count. He ties the game. Ryan Church at Homer. Mets were up 6-4. Chase Hutley goes yard off Santana. Now, Hutley was just 3 for 20. Buck 50. Seventh home run of the game. Santana, seven innings, eight hits. But four of those were home run. You know what team Francisco Rodriguez plays for? Mets. Team shut it down. That's what team. He gets <laughs> Greg Dobbs right there. K-Rod 16th. And the Mets win at 6-5. Skid of the season. They turn to Chris Carpenter to try to stop the slide against the Marlins. Albert Pujols. Drafted 402nd overall in the 99 draft. What a bargain. Top third, Pujols hits it well, but Cody Ross has got it. Runners didn't tag out, so nobody can advance in the long fly. Pujols, not happy about that. Top six now tied at three. Pujols fouls it off. And the catcher, John Baker, goes down. Pujols, 0 for 15, matching his third longest drought of his career. And Baker's hurting as well as Pujols hit him in the eye with his bat on the backswing. He would leave the game with a laceration over his left eye. Chewbacca revving up the few fans that are at the game. Jeremy Hermida drafted 11th overall 2002 by the Marlins. Drive to right and deep. Get out of here. Ball game. Hermida with his sixth home run of the year, his first career game winner, and that'll get you a cream pie every season from Chris Young. Hitting 385, four home runs and eight RBI in his career versus Young, and that was before this. Heath, your second home run of the game, 11th of the year, it's 3-2 Dodgers. Bottom five, score tied at three, Matt Kemp going deep. Solo shot for him, his seventh of the season. And it's 4-3 Dodgers. Later in the inning, same score, Orlando Hudson, the O-Dog, a menace at the plate. That one will carry out Hudson's fourth home run of the season. That makes it 5-3 Dodgers. Young, five innings of work, five earned runs, four home runs allowed. Just one of those nights for him. Dodgers win at 6-4. They're 20 games over 500. Best record since 2004. Fire contact, so he's going to play. Matt Gamble's going to play, too. Former Hawaii Winter Baseball League MVP. Goes yard off Jason Hamill. Gamble's second of the season. Brewers up 2-0. Cameron, two on, two out. Good game to watch. He went 0 for 4. Hamill out of a jam. Top seven. Runners on the corners for Dexter Fowler against Todd Coffey. He shops at the gap. Carlos Gonzalez had a pair of doubles in this game. Scores, we are tied. The sacrifices have to be made, mister. Clint Barnes, sack fly to center. Seth Smith scores. The Rockies going to win 3-2. Hamill, 3-0 in his last four start. Colorado wins its sixth straight on the road. Chicago and Detroit at the White Sox place. Tigers four and a half games up in the central. Dontrell Wills, he's got a 964 ERA in his last three starts. He's high and tight on A.J. Brzezinski there, and the Brzezinski grounds out. And when he comes back, it looks like he's got words for Dontrell. you got to remember that Dontrell has been wild. He, he gave up five runs in his last start. He didn't allow a hit. And Gerald Laird comes out, hey, don't be talking to my pitcher. And Brzezinski's wild in a different way. Yeah, so look <laughs> at Don, and Dontrell says, hey, listen, what, I, I didn't pitch at your head. We think that's what he's saying. Bottom nine, White Sox down two, bases loaded, two out. Paul Canerco down the left field line up. Brandon Lyon. Scott Pesednik will score. Alexi Ramirez will score. Will Dwayne Wise score from first? Jim Joyce says, no, you won't. We take another look. Wow. And that may not have been accurately called. We go extra innings. Top 10, still tied. Miguel Cabrera. Off Scott Linebrink. I know you know that ball is... Gonzo! Cabrera's 11th. The Tigers lead 7-6. They win it 7-6. Top 10 plays from Tuesday. We begin in the WNBA. Seattle Storm. No relation to Storm Large. At Indiana, the Fever! Tammy Sutton Brown. Wow, at the buzzer. Fever win. Number nine, the IRB Toshiba Junior World Championship Tournament. This is New Zealand versus Ireland. New Zealand with the ball. Aaron Cruz can't gather. It's Winston Stanley. 
Winston Stanley's got, oh, look at the moves. Look at the move, and he dives in for the score. New Zealand wins 17-0, and everybody had a Guinness. Steinlager beats Guinness. Courtney Lee to the basket, throws it down. Courtney Lee made that one, and Orlando won. Number seven, Pirates and Braves, Andy LaRoche. It's not about him. It's about Derek Lowe. Look at that. That was pretty good. Kobe on fire early in the Laker game. One on one. Shot clock winding down, and a foul, and it's good. Ryan nails the three. Petrus went for the fake and bumped him, and a chance for a four-point play. Look at Bangit. I love watching him. Number five, Reds and Nationals. Ramon Hernandez. Foul ball. Elijah Dukes. I don't care. I'm going to catch it anyway. You heard the phrase, putting up your Dukes. He did. Reds win, though, 3-2. Now, when I saw this play stand, it's number four. I thought this might be one on the night. So this is good because, look, at buck 44 left, and Dan Cleary's going to tie this game up if Mark andre Fleury doesn't stop him. Fleury does, and the pins hold on. Number three, Tigers and White Sox. A.J. Prezinski, a little dribbler. Look at Dontrell Willis. The D train arrives on time. And the Tigers going to win at 7 -6. Yeah. Juice, turn it up. spoken and the number one wings and penguins Maxime Talbot behind the net no look pass Tyler Kennedy lights the lamp well look at the pass by Talbot anybody can do it looking Talbot finds Kennedy without seeing him and the penguins force a game seven on Friday they win game six two to one ballpark historic rivalry that 6-0 start 7-0 if you count last season's last game the best for Boston since it won 14 straight against the 1912 New York club Dustin Pedroia fly ball to right 2-1 game Nick Swisher kind of took, took took his eyes off that ball and George Kataris who, who who doubled in the second run scores and Chin Ming Wong he, he needs all the help he can get because in the bottom of the third Mike Logos uh, Wang Dang Doodle on Wong who lasted two and two thirds in that 21-61 ERA as a starter, highest ERA through five starts in Major League Baseball history, dating back to, to 1913. Kevin Euclid off Phil Hughes, who came in for uh, Wong, he goes opposite field, two run, his tenth, it's six two. Now Ramon Ramirez replaced Tim Wakefield, who went six innings, and Johnny Damon. We got to go bartender, uh, a JD for JD. Solo home run, 6-4, Damon's 13. Next batter, and Damon will not drink alone. Mark Teixeira off Ramirez. 6-5 game, AL leading 19th for Teixeira, who went 4 for 5 in the game. Top 8, still 6-5, runner on second. Derek Jeter against Hideki Okajima. And Okajima gets him, dirt farmer. Jeter, he went 0 for 5, and then the next batter, Damon, he strikes out. The, the uh, Yankees leave 10 men on base. You go to Starbucks before the show? <laughs> no, he didn't, Jonathan. It's the Red Sox Yankees. Get excited, man. <laughs> Jonathan Papelbon off Jorge Posada, who homered earlier off Wakefield, the 15th save. And the Red Sox, they win at 6-5 is your final. Fox, that's Tropicana Field for the Angels in the race. John Lackey has owned the Rays in his career. Bottom second game tied at three. John Lackey, four hits, three earned runs in the inning already. B.J. Upton watches the wild pitch go by. Gabe Gross scores. Lackey faced eight batters in the inning, gave up five runs. Bottom third, Lackey in trouble again. Carlos Pena, his 18th, 6-3 Rays. Later in the inning, runners on the corners, two outs. Deanna Navarro at the plate. Chopper, Sean Figgins throws to first. Kendra Morales isn't there. Ben Zobra scores on the play. Error on Figgins. Lackey once again sees eight batters in the inning. Five innings work, 11 hits, eight earned runs for him. Bottom five, Willie Ibar going deep. Two run shot for him off Lackey. Eric Ibar watches his brother beat his team. Joe Madden said about finally beating Lackey. The guys here have no interest in One run wins in its series against Chicago. Justin Verlander, he's got a buck 12 ERA in his last starts, and he went 6 0 in that span. And we're going to work on his breaking ball here. Or, or, the White Sox are going to try and work on it uh, without any success. Ramirez, Dye, and Tomey. So the breaking ball early. Now about the fastball. And here's what uh, opposing pitcher John Danks had to say. It's almost PlayStation stuff watching him throw the ball exactly where he wants to. 99% of us only wish we had 
that stuff. Canerco, Dye, and Pruszynski understand. Now we're going to the eighth, tying run on third. Ramirez looks at the curve, or swung through the curve. Ramirez uh, fouls off a breaking ball, and then Ramirez swings on the slider. So Verlander keeping him guessing. Bottom nine, one run game. Tommy, that's heat. And then Josh Fields, that's hot. 122 pitches, second complete game this season. One earned run, six hits, nine Ks. Going for the Mets, top five, Pedro Feliz at the plate. Feliz with a little flair, Carlos Beltran. He robs him. That's a top play nominee, but not even close to the best catch in this game. But Pelfrey was digging the effort. Mets built a three-run lead against Hamels, but then the bullpen took over. Top seven, Carlos Ruiz at the plate with the bases loaded. David Wright rushes it, makes the error. Raul Ibanez comes in to score. Everybody's safe. Phillies down 4-3. They were tied up later in the inning. Mets had already lost five games this season after leading by at least three. Top ten, no outs. Carry out on the hill to face Jimmy Rollins. Fernando Tatis makes a great catch and then doubles up Chris Coast. That wasn't even the best defensive play of the game. Rollins over five, back in his leadoff spot. Bottom ten, two out, man on for right. Chanho Park in for Brad Ledge. Jason Worth, that's the best catch in this game. Worth saves the game for the Phillies because Fernando Martinez was on first, and he would have scored if that got by. Top 11, Chase Utley at the plate. He turns on Bobby Parnell. His second home run of the game, the Phillies win it 5-4 as they come back again against the Mets. Philly now 22-9 on the road. That is tops in all of Major League Baseball. Here's at 40 and 20. They went looking for more against the Padres on Wednesday. Clayton Kershaw facing Kevin Kuzminov. Rafael Fercal makes the off-balance throw to James Loney, who can't make the play. Everyone's safe. Look like Loney tagged Kuzminov, but he's called safe. Bottom first, Padres up 2-0. Kevin Correa facing Andre Ethier. Ethier with a base hit. Juan Pierre. He's been doing so well on left in place of Ramirez. He scores. Dodgers down 2-1. to one. Top third. Kershaw facing Chase Headley. Headley cracks his bat. And that one will drop. Kuzminov will score. Kershaw lasted just two and two-thirds. His shortest outing of the season. Padres hit a 3-1 lead. Bottom seven. Greg Burke facing Matt Kemp. Kemp with an opportunity. But he goes down swinging with two on. Henry Blanco gets Casey Blake. Strike him out. Throw him out. Padres win it 3-1. Correa six innings of work. Gave up just one. Central leading Milwaukee lost a one-run game to the visiting Rockies Tuesday. We go top five, two on Brewers, runner on second for Todd Helton. Off Dave Bush, he doubles, Clint Barma scores. This game is tied. Next Bradder, Brad Hopp. From? Tell me. LSU figure doubles in the gap 2000 national champion Helton scores Helton former Hawaii winter league how about them out third straight double for the Rockies they lead 3-2 bottom five same score two on Jorge De La Rosa remember winless in his first 10 starts this season Prince Fielder says that guy six innings two runs eight K's we go bottom eight four two after a hop homer Corey Hart grounded a third there was a runner on second Ian Stewart saves a run right there so it's still four two bottom nine you know what team Houston Street pitches for and team shut it down. <laughs> he strikes out the side. I, I thought that was a trick question. Or two, your final bullpen. Three innings, a one-hit ball. Seven straight win for the Rockies. Now, the Cubs began the day on the Brewers' trail. Chicago at Houston. Carlos Zambrano, Lance Berkman, lines out to short. Matt Cata grounds out to second. Wandy Rodriguez, why don't you go to first? Zambrano retires 14 consecutive batters. The Cubs are up one, runners at the corners, bottom seven, one out, Jeff Blum grounds out to second, but Hunter Pence does score from third. Zambrano goes eight. Blum said afterwards, the sooner Zambrano leaves, the better we're gonna be. Well, he's gone, bottom nine, bases loaded, one out, Blum off Angel Guzman, who had 12 and a third scoreless innings in his last 12 games. Can't continue that streak. Miguel Tejada scores. The Astros win it 2-1 in walk-off fashion. Park struggling team hosting San Francisco. Nice gesture here. The Diamondbacks honor Randy Johnson, who, of course, helped them win a World Series, honoring Johnson for the 300-win milestone that he achieved recently. Barry Zito decides to give up five straight hits in the inning after having a 5-1 lead. This is in the bottom of the fifth. Stephen Drew scores two. It's a 5-4 game. Now bases loaded, two outs. Miguel Montero. That's Zito's last pitch. Didn't leave the park. Randy win. <laughs> Zito, five innings, seven hits, four earned. Bottom nine, Brian Wilson. Don't worry, baby. BP, that's all you. Felipe Lopez, high fastball. And Ryan Roberts, good game to watch. 
Justin Upton, he's a swinger. Seventh straight save for Wilson, Giants 6-4. Benji Molina, homer, and three. Picking up in the ninth, Francisco Cordero on the pitch. He had 29 straight saves. Cordero facing Josh Willingham with a runner at first. You may have noticed the monsoon. <laughs> Animals started lining up two by two. And then two hours and ten minutes later, the game resumed. Cordero still pitching it. Not too many people left except this guy with a Jay Bruce jersey. Bottom nine, Cordero already allowed one run. Alberto Gonzalez singles. Willingham comes in to score in the game tied at two. And in the 11th, now let's pan the stands and check it. Absolutely, positively, nobody left at the Nationals Park. Nobody. I think there's five. Top 12, Johnny Gomes. That'll be good for a double. And guess who scores? Jay Bruce. And so my man is, he, yeah. He's like, I got to be on camera. There's nobody else here. Uh, and there was only one cameraman left. Uh, Pirates, Braves, Atlanta going for a season-high three-game win streak. This could be Jeff Karsten's last pitch. Now the question is, did Brian McCann leave the yard? Or did he double off the wall? There's a runner on second. McCann says a dinger, right? That's my seventh of the season. The umpires say, let's go check the, uh, the replay. And accurately called. Uh, ball hits the top of the wall in the yellow strip, which is in play. So it's ruled a double one run score. Braves trail 2-1. Top seven. Kit Craig Monroe on second. This is Eric O'Flaherty's last pitch. Adam LaRoche, infield single. And Monroe, he never stopped running. He scores from second. And the Pirates, they win it. 3-2. Stay with us this long on SportsCenter. You've earned this. It's SportsCenter's top 10 plays. Royals and Indians, Willie Bloomquist will sacrifice fly. Shin Su Chu is going to gather it in. Tony Pena Jr. You're going to try to beat him home, but he's not going to make it. Shin Su Chu says, I'm young. That's Korean for goodbye. They must be Giants in Arizona. Kevin France in the grounder to short. Steven Drew goes backhand. He gets the top play, but the Giants get the win 6-4. All right, stop. Hammer time. Now, hammer pants are making a comeback, Neil. Did you know that? <laughs> I didn't never know they were popular they, to begin This with. is at a jean store in L.A. They're in several collections uh, for, for Fashion Week, and, and all these people showed up to celebrate. Hammer's also got a, a reality show on the A&E channel debuting uh, on Sunday. If Barry Melrose doesn't own a pair, they're not hip, and there's no way he <laughs> owns a pair of those. I don't know about that. They go no. great with that. That lilac jacket that he's got, they go great with it. Not a chance. Mexico against Trinidad Tobago. You say Tobago, I say Tobago. Oscar Emilio Rojas, Mexico wins 2-1. Number six, Phillies and Mets. David Wright with the line drive, but Jason Worth is about to turn this mother out. Look at Jason Worth. Go down and get it. More from this game coming up later. All right, you thought mine that bird was a long shot in the Kentucky Derby. What are the odds of the same dude catching two home runs? There he is, Jose Guillen. And then four batters later, Miguel Olivo. And then, I'm telling you what, that's that cat's lucky glove. You know what that guy was? Too legit to quit. Number four, Cardinals and Marlins. Ross Globe with the grounder. Dan Ugla with the diving grab. Oh, can't touch that. Marlins go down, though, 13 to 4. At three, Rockies, Brewers. Ian Stewart making the play. He made, he made a couple big plays, saved a run later. That was off Mike Rivera, Rockies won. I'm out of hammer songs. Who's going to play this one? Oh, Great. Jimmy Rollins thankfully. with the liner. Fernando Tatis. Great grab, and then doubles up Chris Coast at first base. Phillies win 5-4-11. You know, Kareem said that Dwight Howard's offense is, is pretty predictable. How about that, how about that hook shot there? <laughs> That'll work in practice. <laughs>